everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to more of the Elder Scrolls Online. In the previous episode, we found the Prophet and joined the Mages Guild. But mostly, we found the Prophet, and this backpack is still empty. So let's go ahead and talk to the Prophet, blind old man. Welcome to the Harborage Vestige. This is as comfortable a home as an old dried up husk like myself could hope for. Why? You could I'm pretty sure you could have chose to hide out somewhere other than a cave. How did you find it? Despite my blindness, nay, because of it, my other senses seem to have heightened. This place had the right smell about it. Uh when you first appeared to me in Cold Harbor, you spoke of my destiny. Indeed, but let us not get ahead of ourselves. Without an understanding of where we are bound, every road will get us nowhere. Before we truly understand our destination, we must speak of the past. A history lesson, question mark. A history lesson, question mark. I'm sorry, I can't speak today. Of a sort. I invite you to enter my mind and walk with me through visions of the past, that you might understand the events that brought us to this time, this moment. I would love to. All right, guys. And walk with me through the shadows of past events. So we have to walk with him to the shadows of past events. If you guys are enjoying this series, remember to show your support by leaving a like and a comment in the section below. Because it really does help me out a lot and I really do appreciate it. I gotta throw that in there a couple times in the video. You know, I make videos. You guys support me. At least you can do. This does not take as little effort and time as you guys think it does. There's a lot of effort that goes into making videos. You gotta record, you gotta edit, you gotta render, you gotta upload, you gotta prep. Oh my god, it's crazy. Hello, Hello Prophet. And learn of the events that precipitated our current crisis. Where are we going? Where are we going? I demand you tell me. My part in the story began when I awoke on the steps of the Abbey of the Moth Priests. With no memory of my prior life. That sucks. Oh, ruins! The Moth Priests took pity upon me and brought me into their fold. I was weak and near death. That's not good, Prophet. You almost died. It actually looks like the- It was there I first set eyes upon the Elder Scrolls and devoted my life to their studies. Oh, pretty! I want to touch it! The Can I touch it? The to glimpse the very fabric of reality. But each profound insight dimmed my vision and eventually left me permanently blinded to the light of the world. Can I touch it? I tried touching it, but it would- No, no, I want to touch it, old man! I want to touch it! Urgh. Talk to the prophet again. The prophecies of the Elder Scrolls are a fluid living thing. They are not fixed. At many points throughout history, the actions of heroic mortals have rewritten them. What does that have to do with me? I only know that you are important, Vestige. The scrolls reveal to me that your destiny is intertwined with that of the five companions. And who are the five companions? Can I be all five? Am I that awesome? The five companions were a band of adventurers who sought out an ancient artifact called the Amulet of Kings. They hoped to use this artifact to persuade Akatosh, the dragon god, to accept their leader as one of the dragonborn. Uh, who is their leader? We all knew who dragonborn was. Or what the dragonborn was. Baron Aquilarius, the son of Calobian Duke, who led a rebellion against the Emperor Leovich and took the crown himself. Alas, Baron was not truly a dragonborn, as those who sit upon the ruby throne must be, in accordance with tradition. Go on. You have already heard enough babbling from this old blind fool. It is time you met the five companions yourself and witnessed their fate. But I was in the mood for a story. You ruined it, old man. Right, learn about the five companions. How? Come on, you're the so first slow. Lyris Titanborn, daughter of giants, was the mightiest warrior in the service of the Emperor. Lyris! Next, Abner Farm, a powerful sorcerer and Grand Chancellor to the Imperial Elder Council. The Red Guard Swordmaster, Sai Saha, leader of the Imperial Dragon Guard. The Imperial Emperor, Baron Aquilarius, who attempted to light the dragon fires and failed. And finally, <laughs> Manamarco, the traitor, the king of worms, a powerful necromancer, and your executioner. My executioner? Talk to the prophet again? Okay. 
These were the five companions who set out from the Imperial City on an epic quest to recover the lost Amulet of Kings. And how could the Amulet of Kings turn Varen into one of the Dragonborn? Many Marco convinced Varen that the Amulet could be used to perform a ritual that would rekindle the Dragonfires. He claimed this would please Akatosh and entice him to adopt Varen as one of the Dragonborn. And why did Varen want to be Dragonborn? By tradition, only the Dragonborn can lay claim to the Ruby Throne and rule as the one true Emperor by divine right. Varen conquered Cyrodiil and took the throne, but unless he became Dragonborn, he feared he'd always be thought of as a pretender. Okay, tell me about Manamarco. Manamarco the traitor, the great enemy, the most powerful necromancer this world has ever known. His worm cult infiltrates and corrupts every corner of Tamriel. It was he who convinced Varen to perform the ritual you are about to witness. What happened when they performed the ritual? Disaster, war, and pestilence. A world brought to its knees. Now watch and see how one man's arrogance brought about the greatest threat our world has ever known. I'm watching. Which way do I have to? This way? The scroll is gone! What happened to it? I wanted to touch it! It's gone! You took my scroll! Oh, oh, what's going on? The dragon fire brazier. Manimarko, are you certain this will work? It will work, my liege. The amulet of kings will rekindle the dragon fires and ensure your rightful place as emperor. You have my word. It better work, Manimarko. Or you'll find your neck at the business end of my axe. My lord, I wonder if you'd muzzle your half-giant pet. She really is annoying. Enough, both of you. We are here to ensure my lord's rightful claim to the ruby throne. Abner, begin the ritual. I have a destiny to fulfill. By the lighting of the dragon fires, I claim my rightful lineage. By the fires of creation, let me be reborn. By the will of Akatosh, I proclaim myself Dragonborn! Oh shit! You don't look Dragonborn to me. Baron Aquilarius, you are no heir to Alessia. You will pay for your sacrilege. The veil between Tamriel and Oblivion tears and splits asunder. Holy what shit! Happening? The sky is opening up. This is bad. This is very bad. Ah! This isn't supposed to happen. What's the meaning of this? Manny Marco, what have you done? Gullible fools! The veil between Oblivion and this world has been torn. My master, Moloch Baal, is free to claim Tamriel for his own. Akatosh, forgive me! Have mercy on our souls! Oh, that light! That's how the gates of oblivion were opened. The ritual tore the veil between Nairn and Oblivion, allowing Manamarco to begin stealing the souls his master needed to power the Dark Anchors and initiate the Tang Men. And what went wrong? Akatosh gave Alessia the Amulet of Kings as a symbol of his covenant with Nairn. So long as the amulet remained in the care of Alessia's heirs and the dragon fires remained lit, Tamriel will be protected from the Daedra. What happened next? Manamarco tricked Varen into breaking the covenant, and the veil between Oblivion and Nern was torn. The Elder Scrolls named this event the Soul Burst. It gave Molog Baal the opportunity to disconnect the souls of Nern from their hosts. And what happened to the other companions? It looked like they died. Varen was lost. In the chaos of the moment, Sai Sahan took the Amulet of Kings and fled. Leris was captured by Menemarko and delivered to Cold Harbor, the realm of Molog Baal. And um, what about Abner Tharn and Menemarko? Tharn remains Chancellor of the Elder Council, and his daughter Clibio rules as Empress Regent. But the true power remains in the hands of Menemarko and his worm cult. How did you end up in Cold, Har or Cold Harbor? When I discovered the truth about the Five Companions, I made subtle inquiries, but apparently not subtle enough. Manamarco got word of my interest and abducted me. 
He took me to Cold Harbor, where I remained a prisoner until you freed me. So he saw you as a threat? The truth is always a threat to evil men. Manamarco feared I would reveal his treachery, and if knowledge of Nan's vulnerability were to become known, it could threaten his master's schemes. Molog Baal does not favor loose ends. Walk with me. Alright, where are we going now? You're gonna show me another Elder Scroll and then tell me I can't touch it? So long as the amulet of kings was born by Alessia's heirs, Tamria would be protected from the forces of oblivion. But the soul burst tore the veil between worlds and gave Molog Baal the opportunity he desired. Molog Baal's dark anchors pierced the torn veil and seemed to draw near into the depths of Kant Harbor. These terrible engines of destruction had been appearing all throughout Tamria. Holy shit! What the hell is that? What is that thing? That actually looks like a thing in the um, animation short that they released before the game came out. If the Lord of Brutality had domination successfully, he would merge our world and his own in a terrible plain manner. Few will survive the ordeal, and those that do will be enslaved for all eternity. We have to return to the harbor, the harborage. What are we doing? And so it falls to us, Vistage. We must stop Molog Baal and his dark anchors, or our world is doomed. And now history seems to have caught up with us. Shall we return to the harborage? Yes, I guess we can. As you say. Though I'm still kind of interested in that thing. I'm very intrigued. Talk to the prophet again. And so it begins. The remainder of the story has yet to be written. It is your story now. You've given me a lot to think about. And there is so much to do. But know this. You will not walk this path alone. So what's our next move? We must grow in strength and in numbers. You will need more than the company of an old blind man to alter the course of history. We must assemble our own group of companions. The first you have already met. Lyra well, we can't really get Lyra Stritonborn out, can we? Lyra sacrificed her own freedom to allow us to escape. She remains a prisoner in Cold Harbor. I must determine her precise location if we are to mount a rescue. That will take time. And what should I do in the meantime? Minamarco's agents leave a web of lies and deceit. They pit the races of Tamriel against one another and divert their attention from the real threat. Seek out these agents, wherever they can be found, and expose their lies. All right, I'll see what I can do. Forgive me. Ooh. Bringing you to my mind seems to have taken quite a toll on me. I must rest. I will contact you when the time is right. Until then, walk in the light, Vistage. What does this do? Adds two Magicka recovery. Increases maximum Magicka by 12. Ooh. Pretty. Inventory. Would love to wear that. And we have a skill point as well. Alright, let's put it in our Magicka. Commit points. Awesome. Yeah! How many? We get two skill points. Alright. Um, Storm Calling. What is that? Endless Fury. This one is Lightning Form. Increase armor and spell resistance by 245 for 6 seconds and deals 5 shock damage to nearby enemies every one second. I don't know about that weapon. Here we go. Uh, destruction Staff. Wall of Elements. Creates an elemental wall that deals 13 magic damage every 0.9 seconds to enemies in the area of effect. Passive abilities? What? While using a Destruction Staff heavy attack, Frost attack snares enemies 30% for 3.5 seconds. Shock attack does 5% splash damage for 2 nearby foes. Fire attack increases critical strike rating with the destruction spell against... Yeah, we'll do one of those. I'd like to unlock that. Armor. World. Soul magic. Um. Build. Hmm. Oh, here's a passive will. Allows player to persuade certain NPCs in conversations. Keen eye. 
Chanting. Actually, I think I'm gonna go with the persuasive. Yeah. I'm gonna go with that, because I like being all persuasive-like and stuff. Alright, so how do I get out of here? See? See? Here we go. Alright, so... We have to pretty much burn time until he is ready to do whatever it is that he does. So let's get out of this cave, and I'm actually gonna see if we can find the ruins that the Mage Gill lady wants us to find. Because they can teach us some pretty sexy spells if we find these books or whatever we're after. I'm pretty sure we're after books. Pretty sure they're books. So if we find the books, they're going to teach us how to do certain things, which is pretty awesome. She said the ruins were in the north, northeast or the northwest of something. And hello. Okay, let's get on our horse. Let's look at this quest. Um, a high-ranking member of the Mages Guild wants me to perform a task. I must find a nearby ruin, which says may hold a store of ancient knowledge. Show on map. No, this can't be shown on the map. Darn it! Alright, um, let's do this one instead. That way... Let's see, what is this? Enter the ruins. Oh! Oh! I found the ruins! Those are the ruins. That's where we want to go want to go to those ruins. So, those are the ruins for the long lost lore. There we go. Couldn't show it on the map, my butt. That's what we're going to do next, because we just did the harborage for the old man. Let me make sure this quest is, it's a level 8 quest. We're level, oh, we're level 7. Ooh, maybe we shouldn't do that. Alright, yeah, we'll do this one because it's level 5. I would rather not die, so we're not going to do the mage one yet. What is this, though? He's, it's an old guy. He's dead. There's a wolf. Come on, you. You're level 7 like me, too. Okay, so we're going to go meet the queen. we got to find the queen's entourage. Ooh, there's another side quest that we can initiate while we're here. Yay. We like side quests. Hello! Who are you? Oh, are you hurt? Thank the stars. This mud crab won't stop pinching me. Listen, you have to get to Silsalen. Help them before it's too late. What's happened? It's the Veiled Heritance. The town is in flames. It all happened so fast. Silsalen is just north of here. Follow the road and find the Canon Reeve's daughter. Ellen one. She'll know what to do. Okay, I'll find her and see what I can do, but not right now because I have to go find the Queen's Entourage at Tanzawil. Tanzawil or whatever it's called. That's where we're going. We gotta find the Queen's Entourage. I'm gonna interact with any people who have like side quests and stuff going on. There's a butterfly. Hello, butterfly. Goodbye, butterfly. Butterfly, fly away. Why am I taking the road when I could dart across things and it'd be quicker? Well, I'm not sure how I feel about going across water, though. What is that? Just... What? Looks like a Nern root. Does that look like a Nern root? Is this a Nern root? Oh, I found the Nern root! Yes, I want it all. I found a Nern root. Nern roots for a thing in Oblivion. This was a quest. I don't know what it's used for in this game, but hey, I'll take it. I knew it looked like a Nern root. <laughs> I got real good at sighting those in Oblivion too, because they kind of like glowed and they're usually found around water, so that's pretty cool. Alright, we are almost there, I think. I think we're almost there. Apparently, there's a monkey. Oh, it's a monkey. He's a happy little monkey. Wish I could take him home with me and be like, you wanna be my pet monkey? Be like, yeah, I wanna be your pet monkey. Be like, yeah, I have a pet monkey. Yay, pet monkey, pet monkey. Do -do 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 All right, guys, so it looks like I found... What's this, wormwood? We'll collect that. I have found the queen's entourage. However, 
That is all the time we have for this episode. So if you guys would like to support me, if you guys would like to see more of The Elder Scrolls Online, be sure to show your support by leaving a like and a comment in the section below. Both of those things really do help me out a lot, and I really do appreciate it. And in the next episode, we're going to start this quest to help the queen. So until then, I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye, guys!